Hi everyone, this is Susie Kwan with my What I Have Learned in Transport Fever 2 series. Uh, what I'm going to make is a map that has only buses and trams on it. I'm going to create cities with no industries on the map. So the only thing that is going to control the growth of the towns is the transportation from place to place. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I'm sure there's people out there that would argue the fact, but I'm going to try it for myself and see how it works. And along the way, I'll show you how I use the map editor and stuff to create the maps I want. The map I'm going to create is going to have only city names from northeastern Ohio. So first of all, you want to go to the map editor. That is what you use to create the map that you're going to be playing the game on. Okay, so we got a medium map. I said you can change that to large or very large, small. Small, medium, large, very large. Okay, so... Then you can change the map format, which would make it one by one, one by two, one by three. Okay. Then you got a seed that creates the um, look of the map. The terrain is what it is. And I'm going to put in here my name and add this little number sequence at the end just for fun of it. Now this down here, the cargo, we're not going to be in, uh, worried about that, but the lowest you can go is two, see, so four or six, but this is two, so. Industry closer, I put very often because there's no other, there's never, but that means never, it'll never close. Uh, so I want them to close as often as possible if they do pop up, which I don't think they will because I've played these maps before and they, they, they don't show up. Because first of all, you're not going to place in any industries at all. And if you don't disable this industry target thing, then it'll produce uh, industries uh, randomly on the map, as you, even though you don't put any on the map in the first place. It'll just create them as you go along. Okay, so then you go in custom. We got some settings in here we want to do. You want this no cost on here, definitely, to start making your map. That way it doesn't cost you anything to build and uh, construct things that you want to do. Uh, Next, these other two are just uh, things that Urban Games gave us for um, having the game, I guess. <laughs> anyhow, uh, I'm not going to get any achievements anyhow. If I, even if I turn all these off, I, it'll still say no achievements because of just the way the thing's set up. Um, so we'll leave them go for right now. These advanced settings are going temperate, American vehicles, American town names, uh, temperate environment, and ease. Because I just want to show you how this is. I don't want to go into a great, show you what kind of balls I have and so on and so forth. But anyhow, uh, the maximum loan I think is 10 million. So we'll go at 150% with that. The loan interest, I put it at 50%. It's usually, this is all 100 when you first do it. This is set from other games that I played. And you'll see them when I get on there, load the map and so on. Whether these work or not, uh, I think they do. They reduce the price of the units, infrastructure, and vehicles, and the maintenance. So I, I believe those work. I thought by moving these down, these two down, that the traffic would reduce, but it doesn't seem to work that way. It just controls how much the traffic grows the town. So I didn't want it to grow too fast. 
So I set it down below 100. I think you can go up to 200. Let's see. Yeah, 200. Okay, cargo supply, we're not going to use it, so we got it at zero. These are kind of self explanatory. They just overcrowd stations on town growth, influence on town growth. Same thing here, and same thing here. So those are all taken care of. We'll put apply, and it goes back to this screen. So now if we start this, we should end up with a blank map. Get a little water in there while we're waiting. Okay, so here's our blank map. Now, first thing you want to do is go down here in the lower right hand corner and change this day because 1930 has uh, the better tram cars. And then we want to set this back a quarter. The speed, if we go all the way down, it's paused, so we don't want that. Um, anyhow, if you if you do 1900 thing, the tram cars are like uh, crudely built San Diego, or not San Diego, San Francisco uh, cable cars. Uh, not go there. So to start off with, you need to build trains. So you do like that. There's my key, our seed. And it creates the look of this, is what it does. Now, if I go hilliness, it gives me more hills. Look at that, all, those are mountains there. Um, I don't want that. I want a simple map as possible. I want to put the streak of water going through it. So there you go, right there. The forests are perfect. Now, I got where I like it, so I generate it. And it generates your map. Now you need to go to cities. And being that we're not going to do any industry, we don't want to generate any industry. So, go to towns. Let's put in. That's double excluded. It's just got blank spots at the corners, and that's what I'd rather have than have the blank spots in the middle. So, we'll generate those towns. And they'll come up with their own names. But they'll all be like American United States names. American, maybe they got Canadian in there too. I don't know. Okay, so once you've done that, you see the cities are here. You turn that off. And what we'll do. We'll go in here and add to these cities to give them bigger size. That one's going to be my main big one. This is going to be a big one. But it's not going to be the biggest. Okay. And I'm going to put this one over here too. Okay, so in my world, which is this map, this is all we're going to have. We're going to have one big city, two medium cities, and the rest will be mediocre to small cities. The only one we're not going to change is Salem because that's an Ohio town. Okay, this one's going to be, turn this off. Austin down. Oh, 
called Austin Town, we call that Estabula. Salem, the way the world. Los Angeles, we call that Tents. Let me think. Not that these are in relation to one another anyhow. Call this Ravenna. That's right. Uh, this will be... This will be the diner. Actually, Dover is a twin city. And a sister city called New Philadelphia. This is the actor. Yes. Phoenix will come almost in a row. I know most people associate that with Kentucky, but it's in Ohio. It's near Canton. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Could put Canton there, too. Okay, but anyhow. There's our towns. Now, we have them situated. This thing does not work properly. You can add roads all you want to. But I just put the defaults in and add them later. Um, even some of their default roads don't come out right. So just add those and hope everything comes. Or just use the default and then we'll add them as we go on the map. So we generate these because we put default up. Okay, okay, now let's see if it did what it said. I see there isn't no cross river there. It's only this one. And when you do that, when you do make any of these changes, just go ahead and make them to the max you think you're going to use or to a, a reasonable amount that you're going to use. You'll see what I'm talking about. Start with this. Okay. Take it out. And a that's trailing. Wait a minute. I'm going to take this in a bit. What about a four lane? With the bus lanes and electricity on it. So I'm going to go here and lay this out. I don't think that's going to work. Give me so much okay. 
that's okay. Did you see it snap? It snaps once. Yeah, it moves there. Okay, that's snap. If I move it over, it's not snap, but so it's not even straight with the road. I guess it doesn't matter. So let's just put it. But if you're looking for straightness like that, you want to uh, make sure that your the rental or whatever it's called is um, radical. You bring that out. And if you want to make it, see how that moves within the street? That means it's straight. If you go a little bit further, it snaps to the radical. Okay. So now we got that in place. And what we did there was we took the Hyde Bridge out, which we don't need, because if you go over Hyde Bridge or something, uh, the trolleys or the trams and stuff, it uh, slows them down. Okay, this one's got three coming to it already. Another one. And um, Ash the Buell is connected to Kent, so we'll connect Ash the Buell uh, with Sale. And since I'm going to be adding it, I'm just going to use the same thing I did before. The best way to do this is get your city lined up like that so you can see where you're going. I think it is anyhow. It doesn't matter. So this is more or less a highway, and it's got, see the red lanes? Those are bus lanes, bus and tram lanes. Okay, so, you know, we're doing them now because I do them late, or wait till later to do them. It's going to cost you money. Here it doesn't cost you. Okay, so those all look good. Uh, the other thing you got to look for is... Uh, And you can do this later if you want, it doesn't matter, just, this one, see, if you had a street right here, or right here, you could make this into a loop to you, so, I put in a street, and that way I have a loop for my buses, this one's okay, but, could use that. Ah, that must be a hell on a hill right there. Okay, so that gave me my loop for this one. This one's okay. See, here's in Louisville. It doesn't have any loop back. I mean, where are you going to stick your buses, you know what I mean? Um, so this is a little short one, too. Now, this one, 
So when you draw these, you're going to connect this to this, and you're going to make a right angle. So what you do is you draw this out. Straight. Draw this out as straight as you can, but go over the distance of where you're going to plant it there. Okay, because you're going to take it, just delete it, and it's going to give you the credit back on it. Uh, so now we got a figure eight or some way to at least get the buses in a uh, circular route of some sort. Okay, this one is two, but I'm going to put one in here to kind of give us some place to Now this money down here is the 10 million, but I think when you get it on uh, free game, it actually plants it, or puts it in there with the 10 million anyhow. Okay, this one's off. Okay, Salem needs something. So we'll put that. Okay, then looks okay. And, uh, Cleveland, of course. This to me, that looks good. And then back to Denver, okay. So, this is what we need. Now, see, if we would have put these roads down and we didn't change this date down here, it starts out at 1850. So the roads that would have been put down when we did that, we had it at 1850, they would be dirt roads, not these paved uh, chip and seal type roads or wherever they are. Um, yeah, they just, they just look like chip and seal. And so 19, if you put 19, when you do this map, the first thing you do is change the date so you get it right with what you're going to do. And, what we're going to do is 1930s, so we got the bigger trams instead of those little ones. Okay, so we got that. We got all our names. And the next thing we want to do is get a picture that we want to conclude with our... Now, I'm going to suggest something. You can go in and add... Like this road up here it's kind of curvy and stuff you, you can go in and change all that put a brand new road through here that's straight or has lesser curves in it and you can do all that before you do the game and uh, it'll take some of that load off of you of having to wait save the money and so on and so forth to redo all that uh, I've seen guys that just go in and take out all the curves and they'll straighten this out, uh, straighten this out, they'll take this out of here and just make it straight through there, take it little straight through there, make that curve the only one in there, you know, and you can do that in the game, but it costs you money when you do that, so you have to wait around to replace that money with the infrastructure you got running in the background, so. And they say when you do that, you should uh, make sure you have the uh, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say that you you know you have enough to be able to compensate for the uh, uh, money that you borrowed. Uh, I've seen several guys they take this the money, the loan money, and they pay it off every year and then work the rest of the year on what they make off of the, the infrastructure or the, the routes and so on. But anyhow, we need a picture of this here. And then we want to save the game. 
save the map, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it this right here. I already had one started, but I'm going to do this with this one. Now, if every time that you, before you start the game, if you see anything else that you want to change, change it, and then, then just go up here and save it as the same map again. It'll come up. It's down here, too. See? And so when you save it as the same map, it just overwrites the old one. So that's that. And then what we'll do is in the next video, we'll take and get this thing going. I could go in here and change a few things. Uh, like maybe while we're gone, I'll turn all these um, roads into electric roads. And that way I won't have to do them later. And the way you do that is, is you go in. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Yeah, I can. You go in here and you got these three things here. These are locked ownership tool. I'll never use them. This is upgrading streets with bus lanes. Now you can do that here. Um, but all I really want to do is this one that upgrades the tram tracks. And when you do that, here's what happens. You click on it. And since I saved that, I'm, I'm okay. I can go back and reload it. But okay, now I got the tram tracks there. Now if I move out of there, see, you can see the tram tracks. Where if I go up here further, whether it's a red, there's no tracks there, see. But if we go up to where they split, the tram tracks are there over here, but not here. But when you put them down, click that. So then the size of this thing is uh, related to how big the road is on the screen, see. If I go in, it's just a little short piece. If I go out, it's a big long piece that you can change a little. But this price still changes to reflect that. So anyhow, that's a few tips there for you. And uh, hopefully you'll join me again on the next one. I appreciate your comments. Not that I ever get any, but if you could. And you would, and you want to, you know, if you got some ideas or know something that I don't know, yeah, just put them in the comments. Put a like, get the like, uh, thumbs up thing going there and click that if you like the video. And uh, if you don't like it, click the other one. <clears throat> but we'll see you next time when we uh, get started on uh, doing the game with the money and everything. I'll show you how to get that started on the next video. So you guys take care and thanks for watching. Toodles!